Where to next, gang? What else do we have to do? Galileo. Yeah, let's let's go a bit more into the future with Galileo's telescope. That yeah, was a bit of a slog. I agree. Many new inventions, scientific discoveries, and explorations were made between 1450 and 1600. This period was known as the Age of Discovery. One of the most important developments of that time was the discovery that the Earth revolved around the Sun instead of the other way around. It was not until the scientist, Galileo, used the telescope to confirm this fact became widely accepted. Galileo's discovery was only possible because of the work of the other inventors and scientists earlier in the age of discovery. Did you see that? If your head had not been in the way, the orange and pea would have hit the floor at the same time. You must be Galileo. <laughs> I've heard about you. People warn me about you. Yes, and you're a very lucky person. I know. It's not everyone who gets to meet someone as famous as you. Well, thank you, but I was just thinking that yesterday I was testing a fruit called a watermelon. It's a good thing you did not arrive then. <laughs> Pretty good, Galileo. Alright, so what do you need? Ah, yes, you're still here. Are you a new student? Sort of. I'm a student of astronomy, and I thought that you were making observations of the movements of the planets. I had hoped you would show me your telescope. I'm afraid I cannot. I do not have the proper equipment to build a telescope. I haven't studied astronomic writings in a long time. Besides, gravity is much more fun, and I have been inventing a thermoscope also. Gravity is great as long as you're not under the ladder, but discovering how the planets move is very important too. I suppose I could spend time on astronomy now that my thermoscope is finished, but you would have to find some writings to refresh my memory before I could begin. Hmm. And there's the thermoscope. Oh, did I just grab it? Cool, looks like a bong. <laughs> Not that our kid would know anything about that. As the device for getting down nice and easy and mellowing out. I caught it a thermoscope. As the air in the glass tube gets colder, it shrinks. The liquid rises to fill the space and you can tell what temperature it is. That's cool. <laughs> or is it hot? I guess it's both. That's not funny. You can take the orange also if you like. I'm moving on to vegetables. Nice. Got a bong and an orange. Okay. What else have you got? Anything? Let's check the next screen. What do we got here? Are we looking for books or other writings about astronomy? Can you help us? Astronomy. We do not have requests for that subject. We do not believe in such things. That Galileo is a dirty liar. On the shelf near the globe. And yeah, where is that? Through that. Be careful, people have been known to get lost for days in the book stacks. Oh, that sounds annoying. We can also go to the right, too. Man. There's a lot more to this game than Oregon Trail. <laughs> I have to say. I'm sure everyone's already come to that conclusion, but, uh... Alright. Oh, wow, it's just like, uh, when we were going through the employee-only section of the museum. What is that? Hey? Sup? Why are we zooming in on this? Orange? I don't know. Tell me we can go upstairs, too. No, bit of a dead end. Alright, I'm looking for that globe. Never gonna find my way out of here, am I? Yeah, what do we got here? Probably parts of his invention that we'll need to get to him. I'm just like, can I make more dinosaurs? Hmm. 
cursor change at all? No, guess not. All right, still looking for the globe. Probably don't need to concern myself with these yet. Sort of musical instrument there, a lute. Bet Graham could play the crap out of that. Sadly not here right now. Here we go. There's the globe, so the book that we need must be right here. Sweet! What does it say? Copernicus's writings. Yes, this should help Galileo. Let's get it back to him. This the way? Ish? No, kinda. Maybe there we go. Interesting library. <laughs> Record time. You can see the skeleton. That person never came out. Thanks. I hope he's kidding about the skeleton. All right, let's take this back to Galileo. All right. Found this in the library. You lazy sod. Give me a few minutes to look it over. Why don't you try the pendulum while you wait? I think it would be used to time things. All right. Hmm. How about that? This is very interesting. If you can find the plans and materials for a telescope, I will build one. That's great. You need the plans. And what materials do you need? You will have to figure that out on your own. Of course. Bring everything to me, and I will build the telescope. So just go back to the library and grab everything that I saw before? Come on. What's over on the right? Uh... Excellent! An apprentice! I have been waiting for you to arrive. I have a little problem for you to solve. But, yeah, one thing at a time, man. Don't be shy, just take a look. The problem may can be of some help. I guess it won't hurt to take a look. Study the drawing on the chalkboard. I'm trying to design a new telescope, but I can't decide which plan works best. I mean, it's not like more of Galileo's thing. I... Everything's upside down when you look through the lens. The light goes into the lens. Huh. It's bent by the curved surface and comes out the other side. But what was on top is on the bottom, and what was on the bottom is now on the top. I'm designing a new telescope with many lenses. I want the image to come out right side up. Just flip some stuff around. Select which design gives me an upright image. It does sound complicated. Um, let's see what else we got going on around here. Uh, gentlemen? I don't feel like these guys belong in the Isle of Wonder. Or maybe, was it the Isle of the Beast? I forget. I'm afraid I don't have time to talk right now. I'm trying to finish the lenses for this pair of spectacles. I oh, if I know if I only had a little more light, I could finish this in no time. I uh, have my flashlight, my good man. That I just met. Barter? Do I need to, like, show you how it works? I don't understand. It's a flashlight, dude. I know you don't have these, but it's too dark for me to see what that is. All uh, right. Whatever. I'll try talking to some of these other people. Appreciate beauty. Most beautiful handkerchiefs. Tablecloth and scarves in the region. We have one dollar, don't we? We still have that dollar? Buy food. Do you want an orange? Oh, there you go. Nice. Fetch quest. This fruit is very rare and it tastes great. Do you want to trade it for something? <laughs> it's just an orange, but now that you've eaten it, I guess I have no choice. What do you got? Oh, wait, I already have a handkerchief. 
we have two handkerchiefs? Gotta make sure I actually grab it from the man. Alright. What's your deal? Finest candles. Trade something for a waxworks. Uh, shedding light on all things is my specialty. Finer things. Do you want this handkerchief I just got? It's a lace handkerchief. Alright, nice. So you're gonna give me the candle. I really feel like the flashlight would have worked just as well, but I don't want them to be like, What demonry? Witchcraft is this? Here's your candle. Y'all just need to talk to one another, really. Alright, he's giving me the spectacles, and I'm not even gonna talk to this guy, just know that he needs them. Unless you have something better than that to trade, I'm not interested. Alright, man. Well, what do you want? Metal shop produces the finest tubing. And they're metal crafts. Hmm. Order to fill for the university. Do you want the thermoscope instead? You trade some tubing for this instrument and measures the temperature of the air. Anyone with common sense know if it's cold or hot, and I just throw it away. Alright. We got sweet, sweet tubing after all of that. Wait, no, I don't yet. Yeah. Okay. All right, I guess we should try doing the, uh, the dealie here first. Well, you've done a lot of the work for me here. Um, it'll come out looking right side up if... Wait, hold on. One, two, four, eight... I guess that's all it is, so we, we want one here. Do one. Alright, yeah, give me those plans, Mr. Lippershy. There you go. Alright, we got a whole bunch of science stuff, we got some plans. Feeling good. Spectacles, metal tube. I don't know, is that all that, uh, all that they need? I, I don't know. Alright, here's the plans, Galileo. Back to the old grind! So useless, Mick. There you go. And the tubing. And I might need to go to the library to get the rest of the stuff. I don't think you have everything we need. Come back when you have everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, this is everything I need. I'll get started right away. Why don't you try the pendulum again to pass time while I work? <laughs> no, not the pendulum. <laughs> Anything for that? Hey, you got like a Nintendo? You got a Game Boy or something? It'll make him happy. Take a look at this telescope. It's a beauty, don't you think? I can hardly wait to try it out. It's amazing how you put it together with just a few parts. I'm glad we could help out. I'm going to the roof so I can get a good view of the stars. Don't get confused and try a gravity experiment by mistake. Alright, there he goes. So do we fix this one? Here we go. Wish my little sister could discover that she is in the center of the universe either. Like that. Keeping it personal. Done. That was a little dry too, but... Alright, see what else we got. How many have we knocked out by now? Six. Slow going, but we will get there. We will get there. Let's, um... I'm like, I'm trying to hold off on the Salem Witch Trials. When we do, like, just the driest one possible, we'll need to bounce back with something like that. 
simple machines? Sound like Astro Chicken for a second. Work. Machines do work. When you put an object, uh, uh, when you move it, you do work. Work has two parts. The amount of effort you put into moving the object and the distance over which you remain the, you maintain the effort. If the load remains the same and you decrease the effort, then you must increase the distance over which you maintain that effort. God, we're gonna have to go to the sale in witch trials right after this, aren't we? <laughs> oh, good lord. Bless you, M-E-C-C. This would have taken up a lot of computer classes. You could knock out a game of Oregon Trail pretty handily. Not, uh, not Museum Madness. What was that? Either I just saw a giant mouse or that was a kangaroo. These cybernetic beings must come in all shapes and sizes. Anyway, that little jumper sure made a mess. Into the first room. Into the first room. Have to adjust this to get our mouse trap working. There's a little hopper. I guess he can't get down on his own. If I put things back together, maybe I can get him out of here and fix this exhibit at the same time. That's the idea. All right. Let's take a look. See what we're working with here. Oh, all right. So we just gotta put everything together here. seem to like that. those connected. Yeah, I need more sound effects to say, good job, kid. If you say so. Back in school for one night only. Seems to be right. Like in some ways, we're just replicating <laughs> the picture. All right, sure. Obviously. Oh, good lord. I don't even remember this one.
Where does this go? And they get rid of the help. Sure. What is this? Right, there's the kangaroo. Stupid robot, you haven't done anything this entire time. Are we all good? All right, do your thing, man. I go back to the uh, first room now. That feelings. I will search my database if you like. No, no, I wouldn't want you to do, have to do anything in this game, Nick. Useless pile of bolts. Rube Goldberg device. Makes me think of that bravery video. Alright, let's mix it up. Let's go somewhere we have not been yet. which I mean. Now let's just finish off this one. Industrial Revolution. See what we got this time. I'm gonna give the Jawa voice a rest. There's a lot of reading to do. Alright, yeah, beginning in the early 1700s, continuing for the next 100 years, this new machines were invented that revolutionized the world. It was a crazy time. I think that's what I learned in school. It was a crazy time. Let's move on to the next lesson. It's a pretty cool place. That pile of parts in the ground looks like the time I tried to fix my family's washing machine. Why would you do that? What kid volunteers to fix his family's wa- I guess this kid does. Question answered. Some assembly required. I hope these machines come with instructions. What do we got here? Uh, more, uh, putting stuff together. I got this.
Ciao. Probably on the next screen. Hmm. What we got here. Whoa. I don't think anyone should have needed help with that one. All right, but there you go. We got one of those now. I think that's how Amazon works. Stop. <laughs> Things are working so well, I bet I could almost spin straw into gold. I won't hold my breath for that, but sure I can turn out more yarn than those old fashioned spinning wheels you see in old fairy tale books. Speaking of King's Quest 1 and or 5. Oh, was there a, was a little piece I can grab right there? Couple pieces I can grab. Excuse me. There you go. Let's try this one. Tire. A little pistony looking thing right here, and that clearly goes. Oh, I don't know where this goes. Can we get this out of the way? Can't really tell. Can we get this thing out of the way so I can. Eh, I'm sure they'll give me a couple bits of help on this one, right? There you go. Yeah! There she goes. That's how Google works. Even to this day, that's the original machine right there. Reminds me of the electric train I had when I was little. I'd love to play with it. But I better move on and try to put together the next machine while there's still time. Oh, look at that. Fun. Okay, uh, maybe we have all the pieces we need. something together here part two part three I'm missing an extra part
Alright, here we go. All the stuff we grabbed. The flux capacitor goes... There-ish. How about that? And that's how the internet in general works. That's what makes web surfing possible. Cool. This one done? Nice. Alright, we're putting this museum back together, kids. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.